this would be a quite a different video from what we are usually used to seeing over here today i wanted to discuss why sin theta is named the way it is why it is called what it's called and i would also do this for the cosine of theta the cos theta and so sin of theta is actually a short form used for the word sin of that angle s i n e and this is derived more or less from the latin word sinus sinus s i n u s which means curve or curved so we learned about sin theta as opposite by adjacent we defined it as the opposite uh, over adjacent oh, oh sorry uh, the opposite over hypotenuse in a right angle triangle so what is so curve like about the sin of theta sin of any angle will be discussed over here so say that i have uh, two axes x and y axis and if i take say the sin the value of sin x as I, as i go further and further up in my x axis i'd plot the corresponding value of sin of that value of x into my y axis so what i mean by that is say that x is equal to 0 so this is the point where x is equal to 0 this whole axis is the point so i'll plot the corresponding sin 0 value on the y axis so sin 0 is 0 we know that so i'll plot it here so say that x is equal to 30 degrees i'll plot the corresponding sin 30 degree value in my y axis so maybe it was 1 by 2 if i'm correct so this will be plotted halfway over here for for x is equal to 30 degrees the sin of 30 degrees would be half and so on and so forth if i go on plotting values i'll i'll straight away skip to uh, 90 degrees and we know that sin 90 degrees is 1 so it will be uh, half up from the half point so this will this will be 1 and if we go further and further we get a curve like object even though we haven't discussed sines for angles greater than 90 because we have this triangle definition we'll soon extend our definitions in higher grade and it will go beyond the triangles and we get a curve like structure and this is where sine comes from this is where this word comes from even though if you do not understand how the plotting works and how we take sines for angles greater than 90 degrees you could still appreciate that it will give you a curve and hence i have named it we have <laughs> we have named it that way and the cosine is very interesting because cos is cos is the abbreviation we use and this is the abbreviation for the word cosine and this we have a proper understanding of why is it so because it is the complement of sine complement of sin and hence we call it cosine and hence we abbreviate it as cos of theta and we studied this in our uh, uh, complementary angles chapter if i'm correct so we saw that if an angle theta and there's some angle 90 minus theta complements of each other then sin of theta would be equal to the cosine of 90 minus theta we have seen this result and this is the reason why sine and cosine are complements of each other and they are named so and if you really like these type of videos you might also see why uh, from where tangent get its get gets its name from and secant and uh, secant and etc so now you could already guess that secant complement is called the cosecant and Uh, the tangent's complement is called the cotangent or cot but where do these get its uh, where, where do these get their names from we'll study in maybe future videos